morning in eight minutes. I 75 near Sweetwater's back open following a possible road rage shooting that sent one person to UT Medical Center by helicopter last night. That's according to a Loudoun County spokesperson. We are working this morning to learn that person's condition. The incident now falls under Monroe County jurisdiction. We'll let you know as soon as we learn new details. And a man is dead after a car crash Sunday morning in Knoxville. Police say it happened when the car went off the road and hit a concrete culvert. It happened around four o'clock in the morning on Central Avenue Pike. According to authorities, a 40 year old man was the only person in the car. He was not wearing a seatbelt. Police not releasing the man's name yet. And continuing coverage this morning, still no sign of missing six year old Summer Wells after another small scale search operation in the Hawkins County area. The TBI, along with deputies from the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, returned to Beach Creek yesterday for a planned search of some areas of interest. Summer Wells went missing from her family home in June of last year. Right now, Summer's dad, Don Wells, is in jail after pleading guilty to a DUI charge not related to her disappearance. Her brothers are in DCS custody. And good news an East Tennessee man is safe this morning after going missing over the weekend. Johnny Robert Ray was found safe in Statesville, North Carolina. He went to the hospital. Knoxville police say he appears to be in good health. And right now, Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs and State Representative Jason Zachary are joining the legal battle to end the mask requirement in the county schools. The two are each giving $5,000 of their own money. The mandate's still in place after a federal judge says the district was in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act by not recovering, requiring face coverings. Both Jacobs and Zachary want their money to go toward the legal fees for the Unmasked Knox County Kids Association, a new an expected lawsuit against the school board is coming. Mayor Jacobs says the board has to be named as the defendant in this case, just as it was in the original September complaint. And today, the Knox County School Board's Ethics Committee is meeting to talk about complaints against three board members. The complaints say they violated policy when they asked the county commission to seek outside counsel for the current mask lawsuit. Last week, last week, Knox County Commission gave the school board the option to hire help for the Knox County Law Department. Today's meeting starts at 2.30 in the Andrew Johnson Building. And an important recall alert continues for parents. Abbott Nutrition expanding its recall of baby formula. They're now pulling the Similac PM 6040 powdered formula from shelves. It's part of a larger recall announced a few weeks ago after products from the company's facility in Michigan were linked to illness in babies. At least four babies were hospitalized and one died from a possible infection with the bacteria that may have been in the formula. If you have this formula, stop using it immediately. We have a full list of all the brands affected in our WVLT News app. And around the world, the war between Russia and Ukraine is not slowing down. Satellite imagery shows a 40 mile Russian convoy moving closer to the country's capital. Overnight, more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed on a base near Kharkiv. Both countries have agreed to conduct a second round of talks soon after no breakthroughs yesterday. And more than a thousand East Tennesseans are standing by, ready to spring into action if duty calls. The 134th Air Refueling Wing at McGee Tyson Air National Guard Base tells us they have 10 planes ready, each able to carry 30,000 gallons of fuel each. They could be called upon in Europe to provide a gas station in the sky for planes to refuel. And around the nation tonight, President Biden will deliver his first State of the Union address. He's expected to talk about the war in Ukraine, rising prices, and recovering from the pandemic. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds will deliver the Republican Party's response to the speech. You can watch it right here on WVLT News starting at 9 o'clock. WBLT is your official station of the Vols. Just two games left in the regular season for the men's basketball team. One of them tonight. They're headed to Athens to take on the Georgia Bulldogs. The team looking for their first win in Athens since 2011. Tip off for tonight's game is at 630. You can watch the game on the SEC Network. And here is a live look in New Orleans this morning. Bourbon Street, a little sleepy right now, <laughs> right? a little messy, yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> the big easy. Everyone's napping. Today is Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday. Hundreds of people will line the street later today for parades and other celebrations. And Mardi, Mardi Gras comes one day before Lent starts on Ash Wednesday. It's traditionally known as the last day to indulge in all your favorite foods before you give something up for Lent. And it's famous for the major celebrations, of course, in New Orleans. But the party normally starts Monday. This was the seen in the city yesterday for the crew of Orpheus Parade. You can see the beautiful floats and hundreds of people lining the street, complete with music and dancing. This is the first time the holiday is allowed to have parades in the city again since the pandemic. Of course, there are some changes because of COVID. Parade routes shorter, mostly follow the same 
path and take a look at this. Where's Valley Road is clear this morning after this giant boulder landed on the road yesterday. Crews worked through the afternoon to clear the huge rock and any loose material left behind. Good news, no one was hurt. And with that, we do want to get right to Whitney Turner with a look at traffic. We are following a multi-vehicle crash on Andrew Johnson Highway. This is in Greene County right around Emerald Road. This has closed the left lanes for both north and south bound traffic. It's not causing any major delays right now, but want to be mindful and use caution if you're traveling that way. Now that volume is starting to pick up for your morning commute, but no major congestion just yet. Ahead of that morning rush, this is a live look at I-75 at Merchant Drive. You're still in good shape as you're headed toward I-640. Taking a look at your drive times right now. 40 eastbound moving 69 miles an hour. Alcoa Highway northbound moving 55 miles an hour and 75 southbound moving 70 miles an hour. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. Five minutes to seven now and with more wind today, more warmth. Huh? There's more blooms and buds definitely out there, which means more pollen too. The trees are the big trigger this time of year because after all that rain last week, add in the sun this week. Okay, it's the first official day of spring for at least meteorologists. Maybe you count March one as well. All those new buds, they're continuing to just con develop and open up. And that means birch, juniper, maple, and alder are big local ones. That does put us at more of a moderate tree pollen. So if that's a trigger for you, you might want to go ahead and get those allergy meds ready now because the pollen actually goes up as the winds and the sunshine help to drive that out as the day goes on. Right now, at least we do have plenty of sun ahead. We're okay. We're 10 minutes out from sunrise. We're so close. A few wispy clouds moving north. They'll clip our area. Those clouds from overnight moved out. So definitely some good news in terms of plenty of sunshine today. That puts us below average this morning. It's 33 now. Knoxville, we're already at 32. It's 27 Middlesbrough, 28 Crossville in Athens. So for today, beautiful, mostly clear sky. Look at that couple of clouds on the horizon. Bring that sun up, heat things up quickly. An impressive climb to 54 at noon, increasing those southwesterly winds. Gusts around 15 increases that high today to 62 degrees. We actually have more heating and a dry stretch to track for you before we have more rain. So we've got you covered on that coming up on the CW. Heather, thank you. We're going to go back out to IHOP coming up on WBXX where our Abby Casaurus is there getting free pancakes for IHOP. <laughs> no, it's for a good day. cause, not and free. And for a good cause. It is a good cause. It's all free for a good cause. Plus, <laughs> it's Fat Tuesday. So eat up, right? You got to do all that. Taking a live look at uh, Bourbon Street. One more time, a little messy this morning on this Fat Tuesday. Have a good day.